Good evening. My name is Christine Good, and this evening I'd like to present eddy currents and show a breaking application for them. Um, they're currently used in real, real world, world applications um, for roller coasters, and so I thought it'd be fun to show a miniature roller coaster and see if I could get the braking mechanism to work there. Um, first, eddy currents are produced um, by both um, Faraday's Law and Lenz's Law. Faraday's Law states that the time-varying magnetic fields induce electrical current in stationary conductors. Um, so as the magnetic field changes and the currents are induced, they're left in the conductor, they have no place to go, they start swirling around, make their own magnetic fields, um, but these swirling currents are called eddy currents. Um, and then we have Lenz's Law that states that the induced current um, is directed to oppose the field that produced it. Um, so what this means is if, um, if I could show you here for the cart as the, as the cart would travel to the to the field it would be almost pushing it back and then as it crossed over top of the of the conductor it would be kind of pulling it back. So in both places it would be causing kind of like kind of brace to be there. Um, so real quick I'll show you I use um, the Kinex Firestorm Free oops, sorry about that Firestorm Free Fall Coaster and um, some of the uh, neo neodymium magnets that I found um, some copper sheeting hot glue gun um, and then this is the roller coaster that I ended up using. Um, you can see the hollow track. I was able to cut out pieces of um, copper, the sheets of copper, and put um, affix them with a hot glue gun. <clears throat> For some of the supports, I had to use some dental floss. And um, the premise of what I've done is um, I did three trials. The first one was just with no, um, with nothing. In the cart, it was just a plain cart. So I just wanted to make sure that there was no, the hot glue wasn't going to impede anything on the track here. Um, the second run was with the magnets, and I put 25 of them in there. And then the third run, um, I was a little bit concerned that maybe it just stopped. The second run just stopped because of uh, just the friction and because of the heaviness of the magnets added. Um, and so what I did was I added a bunch of pennies to the cart. Um, to see, to give it some extra weight and see if that changed the results at all. So switching to the laptop here, um, I'll show some trial runs. So this one is the empty cart. It says nothing on the cart. And you'll see the pole right here is holding it in place, the cart in place. So I dropped it from the same place each time. And we'll go ahead and press play. And you can see it, it goes on by and then actually slings back. So I'll show that one more time. And back it goes. So that moved pretty freely, pretty rapidly. Okay, the next trial that I'll show you is the magnetic car. And this one actually stops on at the end of the copper before it gets anywhere else. And then the one with the pennies to show what happens if we weight it down just the same. Uh, play. I don't know why it's not playing. Sorry about this. Uh. Okay, here's the penny. So the pennies, they slowed down a little bit, but they still moved all the way to the end of the track and then bounced back. So in conclusion, um, I believe that I did was able to get the eddy current brakes to work in this small scale application. And I believe that it's applicable to the class because it shows um, both Faraday's law and Lenz's law. And um, there's many other applications that it can be used for, such as in the transportation industry, like any of the rail industries, and then also I think they use them in some small tools as well. So, thank you.